April 20th, 1999, the day of the Columbine High School attack. Today is April 20th, and that marks 18 years, 18 years since this ambush. And I've seen a great change since the attack. The difference is teachers are more on top of bullying, and parents are more talkative towards their kids because that's what the issue was between those two boys. Their parents didn't talk to them about their issues. And I think that's what all kids and all parents need to do is talk about their issues. And if your kids feel uncomfortable, parents should and might even have to speak to their kids no matter what. Because if you don't speak, you're not gonna find out what your issues are. 1999 was a different time teachers weren't really on top of bullying as opposed to today and they were not as secure so it was easier to hide in you know drugs and weapons and stuff and today high schools are much more better and prepared for that stuff it's also um it's also very critical to write movies about uh, shootings in schools lately because of the outcome that happens that has happened and since then attacks like this haven't really stopped. I mean, there still have been school attacks in, in the years that followed, like Virginia Tech, and most recently the Connecticut Elementary attack. And all of these, I think, were contributed to anger and bullying. Now, th this is what I'm trying to get at here. Using a gun when it comes to bullying is zero. No one should ever use a gun in the case of bullying. Never. That's what's gonna get you into deep trouble. Jail, maybe even death. And I know that because I didn't commit any of this act, I thought about it, but luckily my dad, if you watch my video about revenge, my dad talked to me about the dangers that I would face if I ever did something like that. Sure, those two boys in Columbine were victims of bullying and wanted revenge, but look at the effect that they did to those poor kids. Besides killing, look what they did to the survivors, they scared them for life. And, you know, seeing how they acted, it, it's heartbreaking. And it's it's awful to think that someone that young would ever do such a thing and everything. Everything just went black out when that happened. No one had ever seen such a brutal attack before, especially in a high school, and especially committed by young adults, too. The, the two guys were 17 and 18 years old. One guy was 17, the other guy was 18. And the fact that over 13 people died in that tragedy is an unspeakable thing. It's an awful thing that we don't want ever to happen again in a high school. So that's why police changed their standards. High schools changed their security standards. Everything since then has changed and improved because now we're aware of bullying and there's better, there's better doctors, better, better parenting going on. And, and I'm proud of that. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I'm glad this tragedy happened. No, no, I'm just saying that I'm glad that, you know, we improved from what we learned. We learn as we live. Since then, Columbine High School is still in full swing. It still um, remembers the tragedy every year, but it also teaches us a lesson. Do not use a gun for revenge. In fact, back to what I said in my previous video, no to revenge. What I saw and what I learned was an eye-opener. Everything that I saw those guys do in the reenactments and what from what witnesses described it was an eye-opener and plus my good friend she looked at me hello my dog's here she looked at me my friend who has an autistic brother she looked at me and she was like look at that man's commitment and i just looked at her and i was i just didn't i didn't even say anything i was just like i guess in my head i was saying to her what commitment he's not even flinching if i knew that any of my classmates were thinking about doing something like that, I would for sure tell my parents, and then I would for sure tell his or her parents about what they plan to do. This video I'd like to dedicate to the survivors and victims of this tragic disaster. So thank you for giving me this chance to express my feelings. Mr. Blue is here for you.